Have you ever wondered why no one wants to challenge the A-10 Warthog in a battle? It's because this close air support aircraft is a force to be reckoned with. Whether you call it the A-10 Thunderbolt or the Warthog, it will rain down armor-piercing ammunition from low altitudes and emerge victorious. The A-10 Warthog is a highly respected piece of equipment utilized by our brave military personnel, and its impressive track record speaks for itself. Equipped with a 30mm GAU-8A cannon, this aircraft boasts one of the heaviest automatic cannons ever mounted on an aircraft. Thanks to its titanium armor, which protects both the pilot's and flight control system, the A-10 can remain in battle zones for extended periods of time, even in low visibility and darkness. The A-10 Thunderbolt has earned its reputation through the courage of its pilots and its exceptional performance on the battlefield. We are honored to pay tribute to those who have served our country and highlight the many reasons why the A-10 Warthog is a force to be reckoned with. Here's the complete inventory a 30mm GAU-8A cannon, a maximum of 16,000 pounds of various ordnance on eight underwing and three under fuselage pylon stations, a 500-pound MK-82 and 2,000-pound MK-84 series low-high drag bombs, incendiary cluster bombs, effects, munitions, mine-dispensing munitions, an AGM-65 Maverick and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. Additionally, there's a Gatling gun specifically designed to unleash high explosive, incendiary, and armor-piercing depleted uranium rounds at an impressive rate of 3,900 rounds per minute. This aircraft means business and has an intimidating demeanor. Are you really up for challenging this formidable machine? The A-10 features a unique honeycomb panel design on its wing and tail leading edges, providing enhanced durability against battle damage. It's interesting to note that the front landing gear retracts under the wings, while still partially protruding from the fuselage, allowing the Warthog to make landings, even with its gear up. This remarkable aircraft has the ability to withstand multiple direct hits from armor-piercing and high-explosive projectiles. Additionally, its fuel cells are safeguarded by both internal and external foam, ensuring protection. In 2003, Captain Kim Campbell demonstrated the A-10's resilience when she successfully returned from a close air support mission near Baghdad. Despite her aircraft being hit by ground fire, resulting in significant damage to the starboard vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer, half fuselage and engine, she managed to regain control. Utilizing the backup mechanical flight control system and with assistance from her wingman, he skillfully landed back at her forward base. The Warthog's flight range spans approximately 2,580 miles, which is enough to travel from New York City to Los Angeles, California. With the help of two General Electric TF-34 GE 100 turbofan engines, the aircraft can reach speeds of up to 450 miles per hour, or MH 0.75, making it a highly lethal thunderbolt. The A-10 Warthog is an invaluable asset to our troops on the ground and plays a crucial role in our military strategy worldwide, especially in the Middle East. Representative Ruben Gallego expressed his satisfaction in keeping this fleet fully operational and his commitment to preserving this aircraft for the benefit of our warfighters. Designed specifically for close air support missions, the A-10 possesses a wide range of ordnance, extended loiter time, precise weapons delivery, and exceptional field capabilities. The recent upgrade, known as the Low Altitude Safety and Targeting Enhancement, equips the aircraft with advanced computerized weapon, aiming equipment, autopilot ground collision warning system, 
and various countermeasures against air-to-air -air and air to surface threats. In simple terms, any attempt to harm our ground troops will be met with a fierce response as we possess the capability to unleash devastation upon our enemies. A-10 pilots are equipped with night vision capability to carry out missions even after sunset. The A-10 was built with a quick maintenance turnaround time to ensure it remains operational on the battlefield. Its ability to replace damaged wing skins in the field, the smoke generated by its cannon resembling a forest fire and a Gatling gun that fires beer bottle-sized rounds, all contribute to the Warthog's nickname, the Cross of Death. It is crucial to always remember the brave pilots who operate these incredible aircraft and the dedicated ground crews who keep them in top shape. Our courageous servicemen and women are the true heroes, and the A-10 Thunderbolt is simply another effective instrument in the battle for liberty, proving it's worth time and time again. Contemporary Air Force F-15 and F-16 pilots like to joke that attends don't have instrument panel clocks, they have calendars. At the time, the Air Force's high-tech fighter faction, which included most of Air Force leadership, considered the twin-engined straight-wing attack airplane an anachronistic dude, unfit to operate in the modern battlefield where it was supposed to kill Russian tanks. Whether you're talking about a sophisticated stealth bomber or flying machine gun, it's never easy to bring a new warplane into being. How the A-10 program survived its first few years is a complicated story. Former A-10 pilot and author Colonel Arden B. Dahl contends that the Thunderbolt II made it to production by prevailing in two key political battles between the maneuverability and the survivability. The A-10 Fleet Fighter Squadron has taken on Operation Enduring Freedom, Desert Storm, and ISIS wherever they may be, making it one of our best weapons in the fight for freedom around the globe. 